Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here for the official guide to GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 118 or rather 117 at the bottom of page number 117. It's a very simple straightforward problem a simple linear equation and we are asked to solve for x. We are told that 5x plus 32 equals 4 minus 2x. We are told that if 5x minus 32 is equals 4 minus 2x, then the question is, what is the value of x? So let's do it, shall we? Bring all the unknowns on one side and bring all the known quantities on the other side. And the tradition dictates, convention dictates, that we bring all the unknown on the left hand side. It's just a tradition. So let's bring the 2x to this side. How do we bring the 2x to this side? By adding 2x to both sides of the equation. Here we have positive 5x. So now we have here a negative 2x and a positive 2x. A positive 2x and a negative 2x will cancel out. Here we have positive 5x and a positive 2x. That gives us 7x, positive 7x. And now we have to bring this number on the other side. Let's subtract. 32 from both sides of the equation. So here we have positive 32 and here we have negative 32. <coughs> positive 32 and negative 32 will cancel out and here we have positive 4 and negative 32. A positive 4 and negative 32 is going to be negative 28 and our equal sign comes down. Now we need to divide both sides by 7 to, to get the x by itself. We know that 7 of them equal negative 28. We want to find out how, how much one of them is worth. So if 7 of them is worth negative 27, no, negative 28, then 1 must be worth this quantity divided by 7. So now we have this 7 on the top and the bottom cancels out and x equals negative 28 divided by a positive 7. How many 7s in 28? 4 7s are 28. So it's negative 4. That's it. The answer is x equals negative 4. That's what it is. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's do one more, shall we? Which is on the next page and if I were to do that, if I were to do that right now it's going to mix up the page numbers. I will see you tomorrow and we'll do the next problem on the next page on page number 118. I'll solve it tomorrow, okay? I'll see you then. Bye-bye.